In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to create a really fun design on your vase or a candle holder. Hi, this is Diana. Welcome to Craft It Sweetly. Thanks so much for being here. For this project, what we're doing is we're starting off with the usual spiral Betty, but we're going to do something a little different for this. Instead of weeding out this area, I have the spiral Betty right here. And usually you would start off, find where the end point is, and then just remove everything and leave the spiral Betty on. And I have some videos so you can see some of my other projects doing the spiral Betty. For this one, we're going to do something a little different. I'm actually removing the spiral Betty itself and leaving all the negative space. As you can see, I'm taking out what I usually leave on the backing. So this is the part that's going to come off. And here's a fun thing that this little uh, weeding tool, usually I use the Cricut Design Space weeding pick. Found these at the dollar store. They are awesome. I'm taking out the spiral Betty at this point. Once you have the spiral Betty removed, and it's, again, it's just the thin lines, then I'm going to take transfer tape. And then I just go over it to make sure that it all transfers over. And then we remove the backing. And you can always press against it to make sure that it goes. With the spiral Betty, what I found is if you go in a circle, it seems to work a lot better in terms of making sure that the spirals, the thin lines stay put. So just kind of follow the lines. Now next step is this has, I'm applying this to a base. So we're going to etch this. And for this I'm using armor etch. So we'll take this and to stabilize it i will put this here and this is just going to be temporary so i have the base and i'm just going to use the base of the the bottom of the vase as a guide to make sure that this is straight on now we do need to make sure that this is applied onto the glass completely otherwise the armor edge will kind of seep underneath it And then I'm going to peel back the transfer tape, leaving the vinyl on the vase. Now, any place that you still see kind of lifted like this, I will kind of work out the little bubble just to make sure that the armor edge doesn't go underneath. Down here, I'm not concerned if it's way down here because this is just to cover so that I don't get armor etch everywhere. It's more the actual lines themselves that I want to make sure that they are totally stuck to the glass. Okay, and that looks good right there. Now the next step is to apply the armor etch. All right, so I have the armor etch and then I will start applying this to the, the vase. I'm working at the whole area where there is no vinyl and it's done for three minutes. Okay, so now that this is done, we wash this off. I washed off the vase and you can watch another video that I have about with more detailed instructions about etching a project. Now that this is done, 
Now we can remove the vinyl. And now we do the usual spiral betty in this direction. Let me do this here so that it's easier to hold. And unlike when you need this, you can pretty much go to town ripping this off. If you have any questions, comment below. And if you haven't already joined my Facebook group, then uh, hop on over to Facebook and post your projects there. I'd love to see what everybody creates. Once you remove all the vinyl, this is your project. It's really beautiful. I just added some cardstock inside the vase just so you can see the etching a little better. It's sometimes hard to see it on camera. But this is a fun project using the spiral betty because you can really create some unique designs with it. I hope this video was helpful in giving you one more idea about what you can do with this trending spiral betty technique. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for being here and I will see you in the next project.